All right, they want us to find the derivative dy dx and evaluate it at a given point. So we're going to have to do implicit differentiation for this one. So let's do the um, product rule. Um, the derivative of the first is 1 with respect, of course, we're doing this with respect to x. So the derivative of this first with respect to x is 1 times the second plus the second, I'm sorry, plus the first, which is x, times the derivative of the second, which is what, negative sign? Yeah. The derivative of cosine is negative sine y times dy dx, which is the derivative. So that's the chain rule that I'm using there. Equals 0, because the derivative of 1, any constant, is just 0. So now we have to isolate dy dx. So let's do that. Negative x sine y dy dx equals negative cosine y. So dy dx equals negative cosine y. The, the negatives are going to cancel. So cosine y over x sine y. So that's the derivative. <coughs> that's the first part. Find dy dx. And now we're going to evaluate it at that point. So that point would be at 2 pi over 3. That equals the cosine of pi over 3 all over 2 times the sine of pi over 3. And that equals what's the cosine of pi over 3. Let's see, I think I have it on here. Pi over 3 cosine is 1 half. So 1 half over 2 root 3 over 2. Those cancel. That equals 1 over 2 root 3, which simplifies to root 3 all over 6, multiplying by root 3 over root 3. Okay.